So you have a friend named Lori, and her pronoun is she. And she's asked you out for coffee, or perhaps a cup of tea. And you wanna get it right, you don't need a chaperone. So you practice her new pronouns, loud and clear when you're alone. This is my friend, her name is Lori, she herself is a friend of mine. I'm so glad to be a friend of hers, but she and I are fine. So you have a friend named Max, and your pronoun is A. Christine Elverson of Skokie coined those pronouns by the way. And you wanna get it right when you shout or you intone. So you practice your new pronouns loud and clear when you're alone. This is my friend, your name is Max. A yourself is a friend of mine. I'm so glad to be a friend of ears, both A and I are fine. You don't want to hurt your friends or imply that they're pretenders. Be sure to use the pronouns that reflect their proper genders. Habits may die hard, but that's not a dispensation. To make some brand new habits, all it takes is acclimation. So you have a friend, Mackenzie, and your pronoun is Z. It's a lot of fun to say this, cause it buzzes like a bee. And you wanna get it right, your concern's not overblown. So you practice your new pronouns, loud and clear when you're alone. This is my friend, their name's Mackenzie. Sees herself is a friend of mine. I'm so glad to be a friend of Zeers, but Z and I are fine. All you need is practice, and you'll get it in the end. And surely that is worth it if you wanna be a friend.